everybody, it's Shirley. Today I'm working on my crazy quilt and I'm going to do some stamping. But what I want to do is I want to use white ink and I want to use it on a dark fabric and use the white ink as an embroidery transfer. Bought some white ink. This is Kaiser Craft and it's a pigment ink and I suspect it's not, yeah, it's a water-based dye ink, so it's not going to be um, permanent. So I guess that'd be okay. I'll see what it's like. It might run, I don't know. I'll, I'll test it out and then I'll see what happens. Um, worst case scenario is it will run when I wash the quilt. Okay, so I've got these stamps. And I'm going to use this um, balloon stamp. It come in a, um, it was a kit um, in a stamping magazine. I, I'm not sure they still do it, you know, like stamping and scrapbooking. So that's um, the balloon stamp I'm going to do. And I'll see if I can put it in here. It should be right in here. Oh, yeah. Just perfect. So I'm going to get this ink and just stamp this stamp with ink. And see how we go. Just let me move this out of the way. I don't know what this ink is like. Oh, it's pretty, oh wow, okay. It's pretty intense. It's, um, I suspect the, the stamp, the stamp pad for the ink is very well inked up. So, that will help. And, I'll just, uh, Make sure I'm on a hard surface and I wipe this excess ink off around it so I don't get any on the fabric. And let's see how it goes. Bring that down a little bit and over. And give it a Good press. Ideally, I probably should be using stays on ink for this, but I just was in Kaiser Craft and they had the white the white ink, so oh that's not too bad. I can use it as an embroidery transfer. It uh did bleed out a little bit at the edge, probably just because I might have been pressing too hard. But there's enough on this dark fabric for me to use as an embroidery transfer. So I think that's going to be okay. I'll probably end up investing in the white stays on ink. And that way I'll know that the ink won't run and it'll, it'll stay on the fabric. I don't know how it will go on anything like velvet. I guess I can just give it a go, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, I'm not too worried. But I'm pleased with how that is, so I'm going to embroider this. I'll let it dry a little bit, and then I'll embroider it, and I'll see how we go with it. But the lines are very crisp, and there's enough detail in there to work out embroidery lines. And um, I'm very happy with how it sort of looks. So I've got some dark fabric, obviously, on this crazy quilt. I could have used a, a, a white uh, carbon embroidery transfer paper and, you know, traced, you know, on, on like that. But this is pretty easy. Very easy, actually. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And of course I can use the dark stays on ink on any of these fabrics. And I might do that because I think I might put something in here. 
I'll see what I feel like when I finish embroidering that. I've just finished embroidering the balloon stamp and this is the balloon stamp here and this is the finished embroidery I quite like it I think it turned out all right the ink for the Kaiser craft ink white pigment ink it um, dried very uh, light and it wasn't um, as bright as when I first stamped it and it faded away as it dried and you can't really see any of the ink around near the embroidery just a it's just a, a little bit you can see in here that's where it sort of bled out because I pressure it put too much pressure on a stamp but um, I'm quite happy with that uh, as I said I think it would be best to use the Azon white ink because that ink is permanent and it won't run in any when you have to uh, wash you know this type of embroidery and by wash I mean not throwing it in the washing machine but hand washing because the hand washing will be more gentler on the embroidery and on the fabric and if you have any beads and buttons and things that's the crazy quilt for today okay thank you for watching bye